Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. I'm going to show you how to make two of my summer favorite treats that unfortunately stain my teeth, but I also want to show you how I keep my smile nice and bright. First up is a homemade sangria. Now you can alter this any way that you want. I'm using a glass pitcher. I also have an orange, a basket of fresh strawberries, and some cherries that I found at Target. I also am going to be using a sangria that's been bottled and pre-made. I purchased this at a winery in Ontario, California, and then also a bottle of San Pellegrino. The first step is to cut up the fruit. I'm going to start with the oranges, making some rounds and you can do these fairly thin to really thick. I just like cutting it this way just for the look. When you see it in the picture in just a moment, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. So cut up these. You can also cut up lemons and limes, just as long as you don't squish them so it doesn't get too tart in the pitcher. Next, I'm gonna be doing the same thing to the strawberries, getting rid of the stems and any of the ends because I want to have that strawberry on the inside exposed. Putting those to the side, you can also use those to juice so you don't waste any of your fruit. Tossing those in the pitcher with the oranges and then washing up a handful of cherries and adding those to the pitcher as well. Then you're going to add the bottle of sangria or red sweet wine if you have any and half a bottle of the sparkling water. Then I'm going to be adding my ice cubes. This you can skip if you are going to have your guests over later or maybe the next day, but since I'm going to be serving this right away, I decided to add them straight to the pitcher and mixing them up. Now to serve them, I added a couple of pieces of fruit and pouring it directly into these mason jars that I picked up at Kmart and stirring it up with a really cute paper straw that I found at Target. Now for the dressing on our salad. I'm gonna start with the dressing first. It's really easy to make. All you need is olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, sugar, and citrus juice. Now what you're gonna do is add even amounts of both the olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Add some salt. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab the pepper. Also a spoonful of sugar. This is going to keep it sweet and not so tangy. It's going to be really, really good. I promise you guys, I make this all the time. Then adding some lime juice. You can also use lemon or orange, depending on what you have readily available. You're going to mix it up and then set it to the side because now it is time to make our salad and the salad today is going to be beets and goat cheese salad. If you know me and follow me on Instagram, you know I love beets. Definitely do drink them. Um, but today I'm going to show you my favorite salad. So I'm going to start by cutting up my beets and you can use a pillar or um, any other kind of method like boiling to get the skin off a lot easier. But I'm just going to go straight with it with my knife cutting them into rounds for plating purposes and you'll see that in just a moment. If this stays my fingers, it's definitely staining my teeth. So arrange your spring mix on the center of your plate. Then I'm going to be adding my goat cheese and my beet rounds um, at the center of the pile and it's kind of warm in my house and that's why the cheese is kind of gooing up but you get the gist it still looks beautiful and I cannot wait to eat this drizzle on a little bit of that dressing and you are ready to eat girls and now I'm going to show you guys how I fight these yummy stains and trust me it's a daily battle it's definitely going to have to be Rembrandt's intense stain toothpaste and I love it because it tastes good. It doesn't hurt my sensitive teeth. I got the worst sensitive teeth ever. And as it says in the box, it polishes away tough tooth stains, including coffee and red wine. I'm gonna put a little plop of this down on my toothbrush and get to scrubbing. Not that you guys wanna see this part anyway. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the description box down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 